Okay, I present the Tiny i3 uh, cantilever printer. It was supposed to be a Cartesian, but my bearing on this side died, so I just went with one bearing, and that works well. So cantilevered, I have the Z carriage mounted directly to the X rail. The holes lined up, and that worked well. I've got uh, thin NEMA 17s, optical end stops from I don't know which project or machine these came from, but I had them left over. Uh, lead screw for the Z axis, belt drive for X and Y. Uh, the bed, I know it's just tape, I don't have a heated bed on it, but it's so small it's only four inches. Uh, it's magnetic, I've got magnets embedded into the plate below it, so that is removable, which makes it very easy to get prints off. And I've got this mechanism that I made. This is a tactile Z probe that is stored up out of the way. I'm using the solenoid latch from a, a laptop DVD player to uh, hold that solenoid or the probe mechanism in place. And I'm using a photo sensor from a three and a half inch floppy drive here for uh, probing the bed. Uh, so I'm just using a uh, M42 command to turn on an output to drive the solenoid. Actually what I'm doing is I'm driving this, uh, I'm using a ULN 2003 to drive that uh, solenoid because it's got a built-in flyback diode which is what I wanted for using a solenoid. So what happens when you start the print is everything homes and at the end of homing it drops that probe down and then probes the bed. I'm using a bilinear nine point to uh, probe which maybe is overkill but this piece of acrylic I'm using for a bed is not exactly flat so that's what it's made for. Um, what else is unique about this? Uh, just using uh, ramps with Arduino control. I made this so that it slides in and out. I made this to be portable so I could travel with it. So that was the whole point of making something small. It's not fancy, but whatever. So when it gets done probing, it moves the Z down enough to latch that out of the way and then purges the nozzle and then starts printing. So. Again, not uh, the fanciest printer you will ever see. Uh, it doesn't even have a fancy... That's my um, extruder motor right there, just one of the cheap things that you get off of uh, Amazon or wherever. But uh, the print, this is a... What is it? 0.15 millimeter. And I'm pretty happy with it, quite frankly. Um, I've gone down to 50 micron before and it printed at 50 micron without a problem with that lead screw. I just barely have enough steps to do it. I bumped the bed right at the end of the print. So that's not the printer's fault. But uh, I wanted to finish the print just so I could see the accuracy and it prints really well. I'm pretty pleased with it. So uh, not the fanciest thing in the world, but it's just what I've been working on.